Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Launch Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. I am here today with a product empties video. So I have a lot of goodies that I used up and I wanna share them with you guys. These are actually empties that I even brought over from my old house. I was about to throw them out and I was like, no, let me just take my empties with me. And I actually, I feel like I usually wait till it gets like a lot more packed, but I'm trying to get rid of so many things. So I figured I would just do my empties for you guys already. I mean, there's still quite a few products here, but um, definitely not as much as I've had in the past. But I just figured I would go through these, share with you guys all the products that I have used up, whether I liked them, whether I hated them, if I'm gonna repurchase them or not. So let's get started so that I can share with you guys the product empties. I have no idea from what months these like these empties are from, but I'll definitely put that in the title because a lot of the times when I do my empties, I have to go back to the last video and be like, ah, oh, that one was from July to September. So these are just the most recent empties. Also, I feel like I don't have that many empties because a lot of the products that I have in my empties over and over again, sometimes I just don't wanna repeat it again and again and again because if I have a product that I love and I use over and over again, you guys know that I use it and I buy it all the time. So a lot of the products that I have showed in previous empties, especially when they're like in all my empties, Sometimes I just throw those out and I just want to share with you guys like the newer products or products that I've never had an empties, you know, have been never been featured in an empties videos. So, um, yeah, so we better get started. The very first one is a shampoo from Kerastase. This is the Elixir Ultimate Oleo Complex. And this shampoo is really, really good. Thing is that Kerastase brand is really expensive. Oh, it smells so good. But um, this shampoo, I remember I used it at the salon. I got my highlights at the salon in Spain when I went in the summer in July. Um, I'm actually going next week and I'm gonna get them done again next week because I love it. It's this lady who does them for me and she's done them for me for years. I've gone to her for years. Like Whenever I go to Spain, I try to do them, but obviously I have a great person here who does my highlights in Miami, but whenever I get a chance to go to the original highlight queen, I always go to her when um, I go to Spain. She's like a goddess and a queen when it comes to doing highlights. She's the bomb. She's so good. She does them just how I like them, the color I like them. And when I was at the salon in July, they used this shampoo on me and um, and I loved it. When I got back, I purchased it on Amazon. And it is just a really good shampoo. I used it up. I definitely have to repurchase. I actually have to repurchase all my favorite shampoos because I have not, like my Avita shampoo. This is an oldie but a goodie. And of course, it's one that I always repurchase is the Avita shampoo. But um, I'm not gonna go into that one that much because that one's one of those that I use all the time. The next shampoo is the Salonin Pro Hydra Repair Shampoo. And you guys are gonna kill me, but there were two shampoos that I had that were brands that weren't really common for me to buy. One I loved, one I didn't. I can't remember if it was this one, but I don't think this is one that I loved. I don't remember. So I don't remember. I don't know if I loved or I hated it. So this one I can't really tell you because right now, I'm not remembering if I loved it. Next, I always have these um, hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. I was about to say Bed Bath and Beyond. These I always have a ton. And let me see, this month. See now, at least when the bin is not so full, I get to like pick up all these products and kind of go a little bit quicker. I'm not like rummaging through all these products. So I have five. Let me tell you the ones that I love the most. The Garden and Sage Mint, amazing. You guys have to get the scent. It has become one of my favorites. When I went back, I bought like seven or eight of these. Such good, such a good scent, such good product. I also have the Winter Cypress. This one I didn't love that much, the scent. Oh, here's another Garden Sage and Mint. It's the same one. Sometimes Bath and Body Works just changes the packaging, but those are the same one. That one I loved, Eucalyptus Aloe. This one was pretty good. I still like the regular eucalyptus mint one, the one that they always have. The mint and moss is also one that I think was pretty good, but it's not one of those that stuck in my head that I had to go out and buy a gazillion of them because I just love the scent. Definitely a favorite of my soaps from these empties is the Garden Sage and Mint. So check that one out. I actually just dropped all the empties. Next, I have the La Mer Cleansing Gel. This is a really great gel. This actually was in my 18 favorites of 2018, just because it is that good and I really, really love it. So use that one up and bought a new one and that one's already halfway through. Next from Lush, I have this Whoosh Shower Jelly. This is actually a product 
that when I bought it, I was like, man, this is kind of a pain in the butt. It's like a little jelly. It slips out of your fingers. It's a waste of products. But then I kind of like started loving it more. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. It's just one of those things that you like to use in the shower. It actually does last a long time because you just really need a little bit of the jelly um, and it goes a long way. Sometimes I put it in the sponge. Sometimes I just put it on my hand. It is wasteful though because you drop the jelly from your hands, it just like slips through, so it's wasteful, but it's good. I would definitely repurchase this one. From the brand Origins, I'm really loving this incredible spreadable soothing ginger body scrub. This is a product that's a, definitely a repeat of mine. The, the ginger line is my favorite from Origins, and this body scrub is just the best. I love it. It is one of my favorite body scrubs. It's one that I've been using over and over again, so that's definitely a repeat purchase of mine. From Bliss, this is the blood orange and white pepper sugar scrub. I think I had this in a favorite of mine. This is another one of those products that when I bought I was like, eh, it's not that great. And then I fell in love with it. I loved it. It's what I would always take to my Manny Petty because it just felt so good. It smelled good. It's a scent that is not my usually my usual type of scent that I kind of grab for, but I just like it. I don't like it as much as the hot salt scrub. This is my favorite one from Bliss. But this one is really, really good. The only thing is that I don't seem to find it anymore. I think they discontinued it. I've searched for it on Amazon. They don't have it in the Bliss website. They don't have it. So it's probably something that I'd have to buy like on eBay or something. But um, yeah, the Bliss brand doesn't carry it anymore. At least that's what I've found online when I go look for it. Out of all these scrubs that I mentioned, definitely my number one is the hot salt scrub. But this ginger one is really good. And if I were to find this um, sugar scrub, the blood orange, white pepper, I would definitely repurchase it. From La Roche-Posay, this is the micellar water. This one I bought, I forgot why I got this one. I think I had ran out of my Bioderma. That's definitely my number one. And then I think I had like a coupon, a $10 like CVS coupon and they carry this at CVS. So I bought this one and it's not that great. I'm not a big fan of it. I would not repurchase it. It doesn't remove the makeup like it should remove makeup. I actually barely remove the makeup. I mean, I will have to use a lot and I had to really rub my eye a little bit more. I mean, it does take some of it off, but not like the Bioderma and the Bioderma is still so, you know, it's like for sensitive skin, it's like so smooth. And it takes off all your makeup without you having to like tug at your eye. Definitely, this is not one I used it up because it, you know, it does most of the work, but not not as good as a Bioderma. I would definitely not repurchase it. The one from Garnier is even better, so you can go with a cheaper version and uh, from the drugstore instead of spending that. But I would rather just go with my Bioderma. From Organics, the Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. This is a really good serum. I use it all the time when I um, blow dry my hair. I always use it when my hair is wet, right before I blow dry it, right before I iron it. And it's just really good. I like to use it a lot on my ends for breakage and I think it does a pretty good job. I have to repurchase it, I haven't bought it yet. I haven't had it for a while. Just kind of trying to get rid of and use all my products that I already have opened before I go back. So this is the month of the foundation in the empties. I have a lot of foundations in the product empties and let me just pull them all out but i do have a ton of foundations here so i'll let you guys know which ones i repurchased already which ones i didn't which ones i'm getting rid of the first one is from the drugstore and this is the l'oreal infallible pro glow this is an amazing foundation from the drugstore it's probably my number one drugstore foundation it covers so much it's like it's like one of those foundations, like for example, right now today I'm wearing the Hourglass foundation stick. That's like one of those that I wear when I want to go like va va voom makeup. This is the drugstore version of that. Like when I want to do like full on makeup, I want to look great, I have an event, I don't want it to like come off, I want it to stick on the whole night. I want to look like I'm nicely made up. I'll use this one from the drugstore. It's just such a good product. I've also used it in a light way where I don't use that much. Um, but this is the one that I always use. It's great for travel. I have this, this is like the one foundation that I have in the lighter color, my regular color, and then a darker color just in case I'm tan because I can just use this all the time. And it's from the drugstore, it's so good. If you haven't tried this foundation, if you have drier skin, I like this one more. I think people with drier skin will like it more, maybe dry to normal, more of a dewy, glowy foundation. But it's just, I've never had a dewy, glowy foundation that has so much coverage like this one. Um, I love this one. It's so good. Definitely already repurchased it. From Makeup Forever, the Matte Velvet Plus. This is a foundation that used to be a favorite of mine and 
just so many new foundations have come up that I pretty much have stopped using it. Um, this still has a lot more left, but it's like one of those things that I'm just gonna get rid of just because I don't use it anymore. It's already getting old. It's already more than um, a year and a half probably. And it's not something that I'm gonna be using. So definitely get ready to get rid of it. It was a favorite of mine from before. I just don't use it anymore. So not one that I would be repurchasing. From Chanel, I have the Vita Lumiere. I have the Vita Lumiere and the Vita Lumiere Aqua. I think I like the Aqua more just because it's one that it's just so easy to apply. You can do it with your fingers, you can do it with a blush. This one is actually really good too, but I don't think it's one that I would repurchase because it's not like a super favorite type of foundation. This one I used up till the end because I really enjoyed it. And like the Chanel foundations, it has like that like old fashioned scent that um it doesn't bug me at all but yeah it's not going to be one that i repurchase from mac i have the face and body foundation this is a foundation that i like learned to love i would love to use it in the mornings before work i would use it with my hands i would just keep it by the sink and i would use it all the time i never really use it on my body it's a huge amount of product and unless you're like a makeup artist you really just do not need this much foundation i don't know already how old this is so i think it's definitely time to get rid of it i'll be back to macking it it still has a lot of products so i kind of feel bad but I kind of replaced this one with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I just, that's the one I have been using lately. I really, really like it. I use it a lot with my Drunk Elephant Serum. I mix it in there, this one right here, the Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Serum. I just like to mix it in there. It's one of those foundations that it's also really easy to use. And then also, I don't know if you guys have the experience. There was a time where I would break out a lot and I would get like those big bump pimples. And I remember when I went to the dermatologist, she was like, whatever you do, do not use MAC for your face. You know, like as some foundation, she's like, use any foundation you want, just don't use MAC. And then, then she's like, trust me, stop using it and you'll see that these breakouts are good. I was like, I use this one all the time. And then she just kind of like killed my MAC vibe with the foundation because ever since that day, I stopped using it. And I don't know if it was because of the foundation and I just don't use any MAC foundations. I love MAC shadows and lip glosses and lipsticks and all that stuff, but I just, stopped using the, this foundation. And I've really never been a huge fan of their foundations anyway. I did feel that the breakouts did go away. So I just kind of took it out of my routine altogether. It's not one that I'm going to be repurchasing. So um, yeah, backstage Dior kind of took it out of the rotation. From La Mer, this is the Soft Fluid Foundation Long Wear with SPF 20. I use a shade Linen. And this is a foundation that I love. It's definitely a favorite of mine. It's one that I have already repurchased. I bought it with the discount when I had the 20% off sale at the end of last year, 2018. And I just love it. It's my go-to. It's one that you can use every day. You look flawless. You can use it during the day. You can use it at night. You just look luminous, so healthy and beautiful. It's, it's like a medium coverage light foundation. It's not one that is like a boom, boom, like heavy, like this one has a lot more coverage than this one, but it's just a luxury foundation. It feels so good, I love it. It's like one of my favorites. And um, it was a favorite of mine in 2017 as my top 17 this past year. I didn't even have a foundation in my favorites just because I still use that one. And you know, I love it. If you wanna splurge on a foundation, that's the one that I would recommend. Charlotte Tilbury, this is another foundation. This is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. Another one that I love. Another one that I have repurchased already, this is in the shade For Fair, and I love it. It has the same characteristics as the La Mer, but this is maybe a little bit lighter. It's one that I use more for during the day. It's not as light as a tinted moisturizer, but it is, it is a very light foundation. It just makes your skin look nice and even. Again, healthy, dewy, glowy. Of course, it is less expensive than the La Mer, but um, it's a really good one. It's one that I would definitely use more for every day. And I usually use this one only during the day. It's not one that I use day and night, like you know some of the other ones that I mentioned. I have a couple mascaras that I used up. The very first one is from Chanel. This is Le Volume de Chanel number 10. And this is definitely not one that I would be repurchasing. I mean, it's expensive but it's not one that I absolutely love and adore. I haven't really fallen in love with a Chanel foundation. I mean, a Chanel mascara. Then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Again, this is a good one from the drugstore and I would repurchase it. Probably if I needed to go buy a drugstore foundation 
this is probably one of the ones that I would grab, but it's not like a favorite foundation that I can't live without. I still miss the Voluminous L'Oreal, the full definition one that was a gold tube. That one they discontinued. That was my favorite L'Oreal drugstore foundation. And that one didn't have any more. I don't think, I think I have another one of those that's brand new. I'll probably go through that one for sure, but I don't see me going out to buy them again because I just have other ones that I love more. Not drugstore, unfortunately. From Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This one I love. Actually, Benefit has pretty much my favorite mascaras. This one I really, really liked and would definitely repurchase. Pretty much, is, number one, the formula does well for me. And I also like the applicator that is not too fat. I also like that plastic type applicator. This one I used up in love. I would definitely repurchase. I think I have a backup of that one. Then my other favorite is the Benefit, the Roller Lash. This is one that I have been using already for a long time. So I think these two are pretty much my current favorite foundations. And this one is the one that I ran out of. The next two products are go-to skin products, skincare products of mine that I love and that I continue to repurchase. The first one is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is the best. I already have another one. It's already halfway through. Have to go get another one. But this one is just so good. I think this is like the best spray ever for your face. You can use it before makeup, you can use it after makeup to refresh, you can use it as a toner, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just so good, it feels so good in the skin. Again, it's like a spa in a bottle. I just always love it. It's one that appears again and again in my empties, but I just like to mention it because it's so good. So that one is the best. I actually tried a little one of that Hungarian Mist, which is a lot more expensive than the Beauty Elixir. I got the small one and it's good, but I still think I'm sticking with my beauty elixir. And then the other one is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is one that, this is a little um, travel one that I bought. I have the big one in my shower. This is a really great, great cleansing oil. I like to use it all the time. It's probably my go-to one right now, the one that I like the most. I used to use the MAC one too, but I kind of changed MAC for this one. And I just really like it. I remember I bought it, I've shared the story before. I bought it a long time ago and I didn't like it, but I used it wrong. I used it like with water and that just did not work out because that's not how you're supposed to do it. I like to just apply it first and just smooth it all over my face, take out my makeup. I go like this on my lashes just to get all the mascara out. It just takes it all out and then you wet it once you've rubbed it all over your face. So I used it wrong, I didn't like it. Gave it another shot, thank God, and I loved it. I have this little Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I got this little size just to test it out. Not one that I'm gonna be repurchasing. The purple one I love is the one that I did buy again in the full size. And I just recently bought the new Aqua one, which is like a really nice smoothing primer. But this one, the white one, not a fan of. It's not bad, but I don't really love it. From Kat Von D, this is a liquid lipstick in Lovesick. This is my favorite shade, actually, from the Kat Von D line. It's like one of those lipsticks that is like my type of color, as you can see. I got a new um, one. Was it in a boxy charm? I got a new one and this one was pretty old, so I figured it was time to get rid of it and use the new one that I got. From Caudalie, this is a polyphenol serum. This is an anti-wrinkle defense serum. I don't think they make this anymore. I don't really care because I didn't really like love it all that much, so it's not something that I really loved. Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. This is like my go-to daytime highlighter. This is like the highlighter that I use to work every single day. I pretty much rent, you know, went through this product. You can still see a little bit, you know, on the sides, but I just ended up getting a new one already. I just bought this brand new one during the Sephora sale. I don't think I've ever gone through a highlighter like I did through this one. It is such a good one. It's such a good product. It's not one that I hear many people talking about, maybe because it's just so light. It's not like a wow type of highlighter, but it's just like a such a natural and healthy highlighter. So if you like that type of highlighter, this is one that you definitely should try. And you guys know that I've mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of these box products, but for a highlight, I really didn't mind it. I love it, I love the color. Also great packaging for travel, but it's just the one that I use every single day. I feel like it's perfect to go to work and it just makes you look nice and healthy and natural. Like you're just glowing, that's how your skin is, not that you're wearing highlighter. The last product I have is the Maybelline Eye Studio. This is the gel eyeliner in blackest black. This is one that I used to use and abuse all the time. Um, this one already dried out, that's why I ended up getting rid of it. This is a really good gel eyeliner from the drugstore. It's probably my favorite drugstore gel eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna hold off on repurchasing this because I have a huge tub of gel liner 
from what is that brand? I got it in one of my boxy charms and it's become one of my favorite ones. Pretty Vulgar is the brand. It's the Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel Liner. That one I really like. It's just such a huge bottle. It's humongous. It has so much product. So I don't think I'm gonna need a new gel eyeliner for a while. That one is really good too. But for the drugstore, if you do not wanna spend in a gel eyeliner, then this Maybelline Eye Studio one is a really good choice. So that is pretty much it. These were my product empties or products I used up. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products I mentioned today in the description box down below. Also, let me know what videos you guys wanna see on my channel, Be Launch Makeup in 2019. Write it down in the comments down below. I kinda wanna see if you guys wanna see more makeup videos, hair videos, vlogs, I don't know, reviews. Let me know what it is that you guys want to see on my channel so that I can, you know, get some ideas from you guys and do those videos for you. I do have my apartment tour, which will be coming soon. Haven't filmed it yet. I still need to wait a little bit more because I'm missing some furniture deliveries. I need to install um, some lights in the vanity and I just still have a couple more things that I need to do before I can film that video, but I'm getting very, very close. So I'm pretty much almost done with everything in the house, just a few more things here and there. But um, yeah, so I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this video. As always, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.